Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob SquarePants video game, Truth or Square. This video game is actually a different storyline from the one hour long special. SpongeBob has to use Plankton's memory machine to remember his 10 happiest moments, but it's up to the help of his friends to help him remember 10 of his happiest moments in order to remember the Krabby Patty secret formula. So I gotta say, with Spongebob's Truth or Square, you know, it has the elements of remembering stuff, you know, looking back at your memories, it has that element, and it still has the Krusty Krab's 117th anniversary, but other than those two aspects, completely different from the special itself. Spongebob's Truth or Square, the video game, actually gave me what I loved so much about the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game and the Battle for Bikini Bottom video game. Now, I don't say lights, camera, pants because, you know, that's a totally different video game. I'm talking about in terms of the feel of the levels. When I'm playing Truth or Square, it literally feels like I'm playing the Battle for Bikini Bottom all over again, including the movie. It's just amazing. I'm really happy with what the creators did for this game. I am so impressed. It made me so happy as a SpongeBob fan. And what really sold me into this video game is actually the fact it pays homage to the other Spongebob episodes. It combines some of the Spongebob episodes, the old and the new episodes, and put them into this video game. That is awesome. Now to name some examples, we have the level Meeting Santa, which is the level that pays homage to Christmas Who. There's a level called Meeting Sandy, which pays a homage to both episodes, Tea at the Tree Dome and Club Spongebob. Other levels are Salty Spittoon, where obviously it does no weenies allowed. Or you have Squid's First Patty, where it has just one bite. Or you even have 24-Hour Work Shift, which pays homage to Graveyard Shift and Rock Bottom. And of course, there's more levels. That's what really made me so happy about this video game. Of course, this is in an Xbox 360 form because I did play the Xbox 360 version of this game. This time around, the graphics are more beautiful, color schemes pop up a little more now, and you could definitely see little more details in the characters and this game than you have in the other past games. So I'm very impressed by the graphics. It looks very beautiful from the characters to the locations. I love the locations to the levels. There's so much fun. This video game understands adventure, excitement, and the other cool thing about this video game is how you have these new powers for the characters. Like for example, SpongeBob is a cannon. That is awesome. Patrick uses SpongeBob as a hammer. That is extremely awesome. Sandy is just spinning around. Really cool. And there's more moves like that into this game for each of the characters this time around. And what I also love about this video game is that it actually brought back the music that was in the Battle for Bikini Bomb video game and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game. It's the dun 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 I love that music background for those two games and I'm so glad that they brought it back in Truth or Square. When I heard that again, I'm all like, oh my gosh, yes. Thank you, creators. And they even brought in a couple of songs from the show itself. It's all like as a huge SpongeBob fan, this video game has really outdone itself. Amazing music. It pays homage to episodes that we've grown to love. Well, at least most of them in most people's eyes. And it has beautiful graphics. The levels are a ton of fun. The storyline is way more different from the special. But I thought how the storyline was written, it fits with all the levels of this video game. And of course, it even brings back a little bit of that robotic stuff that you saw in the Battle for Bikini Bottom, which I really love. It's just really fun playing characters like Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy. It's really great to play levels that pay homage to episodes 
of the show. Also, you could actually do multiplayer, where you could be SpongeBob and you could be Plankton. And it's really interesting playing Plankton in this video game. Now, the only flaw I actually do have with this game is that it was a little bit too short. Like, not extremely short, like there were definitely enough levels to keep me entertained through the game, but it's all like the game sort of goes by a little fast and you're, it kind of gives you like, huh? That's it. Truth or Square is definitely by far one of the best Spongebob video games I've ever played. I was just having such a blast playing this game from beginning to end. Truth or Square gets a 9.5 out of 10. I am so extremely pleased with this game. Granted, it's not as good as the video games, the Spongebob movie, Lights, Camera, Pants, or The Bell for Bikini Bottom, but it's definitely up there as being one of the best Spongebob video games. I've ever played. In the comments below, tell me what do you think of the Spongebob video game Truth or Square and tell me what do you prefer more, the video game or the TV movie? And tell me a little bit of your history of this video game. This is 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have... TIGER POWER!